Jasper National Park is so beautiful. Last time we were hiking in the Maline Lake area and it was definitely an interesting experience. We were afraid that we couldn't get here because I read on the internet that uh, this trail is often closed due to bear activity. Our bear spray is ready. It's basically like pepper spray. <laughs> but very strong one. Yeah. When the bear is in, the fr in front of you, like two meters, you're supposed to spray, spray him. him in his eyes. In the end, we didn't encounter any bear right on the trail. But only later, when we were in our car, a grizzly bear showed up by the road. And it wasn't the only one that day. Guys, there is another bear. We are still in our car. Today we will be hiking in the area around the town of Jasper and it will get more intense. There will be bears again, but we won't be in our car anymore. I'm praying. But, you know, I can hear him really close. So sit tight and get ready for the next adventure. There will be glaciers, canyons and as always amazing views on the Canadian wilderness. Wow, the river seems so powerful. Very strong, yeah. Very, yeah. It's so powerful, I can't even. Wow, you wouldn't want to fall in. So this is the Maline Kenya. And it's actually the first place we have ever visited in Canada. And now, seven years later, we are back. Yeah, so first time was in 2015. And I remember I was in shock that something like this exists. Yeah, we don't have anything like this in Europe. Yeah. It's not in our part. Yeah, yeah, wow. Meline Canyon is the deepest canyon in Jasper National Park, with a depth of more than 50 meters at certain points. It is possible to explore this incredible natural landmark by crossing six bridges built across various points of the canyon. The official website encourages you to marvel at the deep canyon, the waterfalls and the power of the churning, swirling river that created it. And we most certainly did that and made sure to enjoy it to the fullest. Easy standing here. <laughs> Look! Wow! So deep, so deep. Unbelievable. It's hard to imagine that during winter most of the canyon floor is dry. Yeah. When you see the amount of water right now. Yeah, it's probably because everything is frozen during winter. And there is not much melting water from the glaciers. Yeah. like we are in a normal forest but then look at this out of nowhere you would fall down a lot so wow it's so so narrow and so deep sadly it's quite difficult to capture the depth of the canyon on camera the size gets lost when trying to film it Nevertheless, it was magnificent and we loved spending time here, even though it was quite crowded because, understandably, it is a very popular place among tourists from all over the world. There are so many lilies. It looks so pretty. and so interesting. Lilies don't grow in the Czech Republic, in nature. So, yeah, I like it. Yeah, we only know them from flower beds. Yes. We have one as well. <laughs> we then moved to a lovely forest closer to the town of Jasper and started a little hike there. 
we met quite a lot of people and little did we know that of all the places this would be the one where bears are sharpening their teeth so they can taste you. Just kidding, of course, but let's wait and see what happens. We are on a random hike that Tommy chose and I was like, oh honey, you chose wrong. But no, my honeybee is always right and it's so pretty. I love it. Of course, I choose hikes based on research, not randomly. Yeah, okay. Everything is in an Excel file, of course. Yes, it is. <laughs> We are on top of the hill. Hill. For me, it is at least a little mountain. Its uh, elevation gain is 130 meters. So, okay. that is something. Cute. Yeah. That is something, and it's cute. And there are amazing views from here. I was really afraid this hike is going to be boring, but it's so pretty. I love views. Mm -hmm. It's all about views for me. Of I course. Don't know. So. Wow, look guys, there is Jasper, the town of Jasper, little houses everywhere, mostly accommodation for tourists, yeah. and Atabasca River, we came from there, and there is also a lift or gondola or what's the term? Cable car. Cable car that goes on top of that mountain the Whistlers, but it's like 50 Canadian dollars, so... No thanks. Too, yeah, no <laughs> thanks. They can keep it. And it's much warmer today, it's very pleasant. And for me, this has been the best view of our vacation so far. You can see so much from here. Yeah. looks also pretty amazing. Thank yeah. You. That's where we are going tomorrow. Not up there, but through the mountains. Yes. And there are some annoying children in the background. So it's time to leave again. We found the chairs. Yay! So typically Canadian. Yeah. Now we can relax in nature and enjoy the views. How is it? It's better than standing, I guess. <laughs> what do you think? I like them very much. So guys, there are these chairs on the map here and there. We've seen them, but we've never found them until now. So this is like to found a joker or something <laughs> when you are playing cards and it's great because this is not on the official trail, right? Yeah, it's nearby. Yeah. So maybe it's like a game, you are looking for treasure, but instead of treasure, you are looking for these red chairs. Yeah, you want sitting down. Two cups. Oh. There are two babies even. So cute. Three. Three wow. babies. Big family. Two or three. I hope the dad is not behind us. <laughs> Hopefully not. Look at the baby. It's a new one. Like they don't care, that's a good thing. Yeah, hopefully, it will stay that way. <laughs> Look at Aww. the baby! <laughs> There's supposed to be one more, where is it? Oh, yeah, I see another one. Yeah, <laughs> so <Okay>. tiny. <laughs> so it's like a toy. They're coming. <laughs> 
guys, we've just seen black bears on our trail. A mama bear and two cubs. Yeah, that was so exciting. Luckily, we weren't alone. There were two girls and... Right behind us. Yeah, they were coming our way. And they weren't scared at all. They were like, oh my god, they are so cute. <laughs> so yeah, that was nice. And it's amazing. And this is the first time we encountered bears on our trail, at least during this vacation. Something like this already happened to us once before in Olympic National Park in Washington, USA. But there were a lot of people around and this time around it was just the two of us who discovered them first and then the two girls joined us. Yeah, there was a noise, like something tearing a wood uh -huh. or something. Yeah, I heard it. Yeah, and we thought, oh my god, probably it's a bear and Tommy saw it and it was. Yeah. So yeah, because usually you see bears from car, but uh -huh. this is new. Yeah. Of course, our trail is circling around where the bears are somewhere here in this area because we came like this and now we are turning around so we will never get too far away from them. <laughs> and the girls disappeared in the meantime, so we are alone again. Yeah, that's fun. Uh -huh, totally. But I love how many wildflowers there are everywhere. Yeah. And they are different kinds than what we have in our country. So mm -hmm. they are very pretty to look at. Yeah, pretty. Now there are these red ones uh -huh. everywhere. And there were other ones as well. Yeah, there was this cutest meadow with so many different colors. But we didn't film it because it wasn't sunny. Yeah, but we took a picture. Boop! <laughs> <laughs> and now we are going down to our car. And now it seems we are in a butterfly area. <laughs> there are many of them. Yeah. <laughs> Wildlife is everywhere in Canada. Yes, we are not used to this in Central Europe. We don't have anything. That's why we put all the houses in our garden to attract them. They don't yeah. need that here. <laughs> I was thinking, what houses you mean? Butterfly houses, and wild uh, bee houses or hotels. Ladybug house, yes, yes now I know. <laughs> we are going there, not on top of the mountain, but we are going to see a glacier. Later you'll see. Look at the views again. Amazing. Yeah. And yeah. Mountains everywhere with snow. And it's so cool. We're almost on top. <laughs> totally. Not really. It's huge. Really tall. And I think that's the glacier. So we are just walking around it to get a better peak from another angle. Yeah. There's a lake here, which I assume is full of the glacier water. Yeah. Melting. And it looks really nice from up here. Mm -hmm. So the glacier is melting. There are waterfalls flowing into the lake. And it's amazing. Yeah. And, and we can go down there to the lake yeah. where the trail continues. Yeah. So we'll see you there. On the other side of this meltwater lake lies Cable Glacier. And each summer, a little more of the toe is nibbled away by the slightly warmer lake, causing icebergs and ice caves. That's fascinating. It is, and I see some rips, you know, uh -huh. in, the in the snow. In yeah. the snow, yeah. Try it. Very cooling. <laughs> Greatness is too big. 
and look at the waterfalls. So pretty. Yeah, so much water flowing from the glacier. Yeah, yeah, it's so interesting. And then the lake there. Very pretty. But wow, I wouldn't be able to climb up. <laughs> no? What a loser. No, I wanted to say that climbers are so courageous. Oh yeah. Yeah, because this feels overwhelming for standing here. Like, can you imagine going up there somewhere? Look on that wall. Uh huh. It's unbelievable. Yeah, not for me. I can feel it here. Wow. There are lakes that are cold <laughs> and we are always like, oh my god, I wouldn't swim here. But this is totally the next level. It's not like the natural pool at our country <laughs> house. When we are afraid to go into cold water, it's nice. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Standing on ice. Peter on ice. You are so tiny. <laughs> Don't drink it. <laughs> so, like an art or something. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> so pretty. Yeah. You know, it's uh, quite rough. On top, mm -hmm. really smooth on the bottom. Yeah. We are on an evening walk or short hike, about four kilometers, in the valley of the Five Lakes. Yes. And it's really beautiful here. The lakes have this green color. Emerald. At least from here I can see now. There. It looks really pretty. Yeah, yeah. And we are all alone here because it's quite late and everybody has left. Mm -hmm. Go uphill. I've already seen it. <laughs> so I know what's there. I see them. Yay! Another set of Canadian chairs. Yay! <laughs> so we found another bonus. We should get bonus points for this. Or some reward. What, you can still watch the sunset from here. Uh -huh. It looks so cozy. a great view. Cause I was there by your side with my eyes open wide and I know that will always be true There were no reasons why there's some beauty must die which I harbor we all so It's amazing that even though we are in such a large national park like Jasper, which is visited by millions every year, you can still find hikes where you are completely alone the whole time. Yeah. You just need to find the right place at the right time, which usually means in the evening. Yeah, but there is a prize. Look in Tommy's hand. Bear spray ready. And yeah, we have to be careful. We have loud. to be loud. We have to sing. But it's amazing, it's very beautiful here. Yeah. It's worth it. Yes. Guys, there is a bear, but he's leaving slowly. Clap, honey. I don't see him, so I have to trust you. I have, I have no idea where he is. He went into the grass. But do you see him? 
No, not right now. He was leaving when you started clapping. He finally heard us, you know. But I just hope he's not waiting right behind the grass. We have to wait. I hear him. Yeah. Guys, can you hear him? Oh my god. I feel like he's really close. But he's leaving. But how do you know? I don't see him. Hopefully. I am praying. But... Oh my god. You know, I can hear him really close. Yeah. But he went from the path to the forest. Okay. So that's nice. So he's not trying to surprise us from the other side. No, they are not like that. He should be scared. So do you wanna go? Slowly, but clap. Guys, hopefully you will be able to see this video. If not, then we've been eaten. Oh my god, this is so scary. But it was a black bear. So the smaller one, not grizzly. And this is the first time it's really just the two of us. Yeah. Because as we were saying, there is literally nobody here in this forest yeah. anymore. He was here somewhere, near these two trees. So he's gone now from here. But we have to go. We have to go. Oh my god. I felt like I heard him breathe. No, think. no. But okay, we passed the point, so we should be getting farther from here now anyway. But no running, honey. Yeah, I'm not running. Bye. Okay, I'm stopping the camera. We will tell you guys at the parking lot, hopefully, that we've made it. Look how fun it is. Yay! I'm having so much fun, guys. You're happy and you know with clap your hands. Guys, we've made it. We are at the parking lot alive. But this was another experience. Wow. And we heard him like rambling in the trees and then I was like, honey, stop, don't run. We just need to back away slowly because that's what the instruction always say. And I was like, take out the camera because there is nothing else to be done. And we just need to back away slowly and film and clap and make <laughs> noise. Yeah. So, hmm. That was scarier than before. Yeah, because we were alone and it's evening and wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> but we are here. Alive. Yay. Yay. I'm really glad we had read all the tips and instructions about bear safety. So we knew at least approximately what to do. Make noise while hiking, talk, clap, sing. Bear bells are not effective. Always carry bear spray and know how to use it. And never run from a bear. These ones are in almost all the brochures of national parks that have bears. Anyway, it was a big relief that evening when we made it to the parking lot. Tune in next time as we will be continuing by car through Jasper and we will visit some of the major tourist attractions. We can go now. Let's go. So until then, bye!